Anyway, back hey, to Mojo 3. There's Sorry. One, there's one thing I do know. When Mark... Yeah. So I call it... When he turns into Mad Mark, there is no one better. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's got some young son that he reckons is the next up and coming world champion, and he's dying for a bit of rider tuition. You wouldn't oh, do me, and I, would you do me a massive favour and just go see him for the day? Uh. Lockdown affected Champignoni at all? What? Lockdown? What? What size are part of the Brexit thing? The Brexit thingy? No, the COVID nineteen. Is it like this all the time? Yeah, yeah. The the three a.m. wake up calls there. Why is he there. waking you up at three a.m.? Well, I don't get that. Well, Marquez wakes up at seven, so he said it needs to be at least four that, hours. That's so stupid, him. though. That ain't gonna make you any faster at all. Oh, the is that the mask thing? It be it hasn't affected us. I didn't know a thing about it. To well, last week I was going to Aldi. I mean, is he on medication? I don't. I don't know. Mum doesn't really talk to him, so. Does your, your mum doesn't talk to him? No, no. Not, not allowed to speak to her. Yeah. You're that guy, GPs. Yeah. Uh, super bikes. That's it. So Aldi's that, that's my store of choice. I needed some uh, porridge and uh, car mats and uh, a drill. What, what are you doing now? Would you still? No, no, I'm retired. I work for BT Sport now. Shut up. The woman will let me in. She says, you need a mask. I see the mask. What, what do you mean? She says, and that was that Corona, uh, that disease thing. It was the day they started masks. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're doing that now. Yeah, uh, yeah. Do the I team. see you talking to all the, you talk to all the team managers. All, all the top. You know, you know them all. You know them all, don't you? Uh, well, yeah, I know quite a few. Yeah. Know the I've riders. spoke to the... The Bravo guy, he's already, he's called me. Thinking in your seat. Recycling night. I'm thinking, take them to the last round, enter the last round of uh, Moto One on their own bike. Uh, see how he gets on. Mo I don't, oh, look, he's not going to win, but I think he'll Moto be Moto Three? No, the big one. No, no, no. Moto GP. Uh, what do you want to talk about now? Start. Yeah, we're working on starts for Champignoni, it's been going well, and um, yeah, you think, uh, I think start starts. I think a bird's, just, a bird's just messed on your shoulder. No, the other shoulder. Oh, that is disgusting. Yeah, and you're thinking good starts, but... Uh, some of the best rides in history have been bad starts. The Marquez guy, when he was in Moto 250, uh, I remember you mean once. That's Moto. It's, they don't race 250s. The middle class. The Moto. Yeah, Moto two. Moto. I'm thinking more fast track. Is who's ever done anything with that kind of championship? No, well, if you, you if you look back at someone like Casey Stoner, he did the super teams Casey, in the UK. He, Casey Stoner. So he came from Australia. You yeah. know, it's, they they sacrificed a lot as a yeah. family. Yeah. And did the super teams, some you know, like one two five CC British Championships, and worked his way. What's he doing in that tree? He's training. It's climbing the tree. It's training. It's special. Can't. Don't film that. Basically, the target should be the young kids that are winning the British Talent Cup. Are you are you listening to what I'm saying? That's the target. The target's Matt Marquez. Did something. They all got away. He was last. All the way through, and he won, and 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 so it just proves that some of the most inspired rides, some of the best rides ever, are from the back. So what we've been practicing with Champignoni is uh, when he's on the grid, not be every race, but a lot of races we're going to get him to be sitting there, wait for the lights, lights go out, he counts one one thousand, one two thousand, and then goes, and then he's last. Just, I think the biggest problem. Just look at him. I can just tell he's not having a good time. And there's a better chance of winning from the back than there is from the front in these circumstances, as the, some of the best riders have proved. So we've been working on that. He's just delayed starts and win the race. So that's him. Uh, you hear him? Yeah, he hasn't quite got the hang of that though. He need... 
Yeah, he's not changing properly yet. I'm gonna. Um, we're, we're we're working on that. That wasn't a bad. That was a good start. So that's no use. And I think we enter with our own bike. He won't win, but I'm, I know he'll run at the front. And then I, I'm going to ask you this you question: What? What? Why, how much do you think he could get paid next year? I can't read, write, or count very well. Uh, look at me, living proof. Doesn't matter. I'm not stupid. Champignone for champion. Keep telling you. You, you do know that's French for mushroom. What are you doing? The realistic target is look at these lads that are winning the British Talent Cup. That's, tell oh, me one. See, yeah. that's it's just it. stupid. No Jump one, yeah. no one should. Be When he sat on the grid at the last round, it'd be 9.22. Right. Talk about him a lot on telly next time you're doing your telly job. No, I can't. But I thought you were Chris Walker. You, you what? Travis Hendy's 20 minutes in. So uh, now he's got a little bit of work to do. Anyway, let's just. Uh, let's I don't know whose idea that was. He, he's a. He's a he knows nothing. He'd done nothing in racing. I mean, he must be. He must be disappointed with his career because he did nothing, and and he, he's not an authority. Well, you'll know his way around here. Yeah, it's only seventeen. Someone said he's got a younger brother called Champion Champion or something. He's. He, <laughs> He's supposed to be. He's Champ supposed to be. Champignone! They're talking about you! You got fing lucky, that Suzuki guy should have won. Wasted my time, wasted your time. I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> 